Use the repeat until block to get the zombie to the sunflower. Brains. <laughs> Use the repeat until block to get the zombie to the sunflower. Brains. Use the if block to help me decide when to turn. Brains. Okay, solve this one just like the last puzzle, but you need to remember how you used the if and repeat until blocks together. Brains. Me want sunflower. Use an if statement to get the zombie to the sunflower with the fewest number of blocks. Brains. <laughs> Eat sunflower. Use an if statement to get the zombie to the sunflower with the fewest number of blocks. Brains. <laughs> the solution to this puzzle isn't very different. But watch out for the chompers. Brains. The if slash else block checks a condition, and then does one thing or another. Use this new block to get me to the sunflower. Brains. <laughs> One more practice puzzle with the if slash else block. Trace it with your finger to see if you can figure it out on your first try. Brains. <laughs> Can you add just three blocks to help the zombie solve a more complex maze? If you do it right, he can walk any curvy path no matter the length. Brains. <laughs> Assessment, use the repeat until end and if slash else block to get me to the sunflower in as few blocks as possible. Brain. 